listen okay listen if you're a computer science student or you're just someone that is constantly learning about programming stuff and of course if you don't live in a mountain with no internet you will probably relate to what i'm about to say Two years ago, in 2024, I moved out of my home country and I started my university journey as a computer science student. And I'm not gonna lie, since the beginning of my studies, I have been always using AI for almost everything. Studying, translating stuff, choosing what to order in a restaurant, letting AI decide my future. You know, just everyday stuff. Yo, a lot of these people on the internet say, bro, government should ban AI or AI just ruined social media which is a fact what the f what am i actually watching but if you have been using ai for your everyday life i guess that we can agree on the fact that ai is just insane for the most of the tasks and to be honest with you it's just really helpful for the most of the users now i will talk about myself now ai has helped me a lot as a student mainly to understand math concepts how algorithms work and other things related to the field that i'm in work that will take so much time for me to understand without any kind of help ai is amazing man you know i'm in love with ai i'm in love with machines you know these people these people that created these people that created these souls that created our souls that created our souls that created our souls that created last summer I started building a SAS with one of my friends and to be honest with you to be my first big project it went well it was working almost perfectly fine with no errors and of course for surprise of absolutely nobody we did the whole thing using AI vibe coding super hard like we did the hardest most inhumane vibe coding I remember we spent literally two whole months two whole building this with help of ChatGPT and cloud but then after you do the whole work at some point you realize that you don't actually know how to build stuff you're a fraud <laughs> at least for me this is a big problem because one of the main motivations of people to start coding is to actually reach a level of knowledge and start building whatever you want and when you use ai to help you out in every single coding task that you do i think eventually it can become frustrating in the future once you look back and you tell yourself with 100 percent honesty yo man i don't know shit. sure you can study the basics with help of ai like the syntax of programming languages or fundamentals but i genuinely think that if you have a solid foundation and by this i mean knowing the fundamentals really well you can actually build stuff to whichever your goal is to build something just for fun or to find a job spoiler alert you actually need to build stuff in order to get a job so like you know do something does all of these mean that i'm gonna stop using ai forever oh hell no but since the last year i have been learning everything about programming the old way so no generated code of course this takes too much time but i think at the end i will actually learn more otherwise i'm just doing the stupidest thing ever About my learning process lately, I guess I just watch some tutorials and I try to write the best code that I can. And by this I also mean trying to solve all the errors and the bugs by myself, you know, the old way. All of this might sound funny and shit, but what I have noticed is that all this generates me more friction in my learning process. So whenever I make a mistake, I will actually remember and understand why I did it, because it took me some time till I got it right, if that makes sense. Then once I got a basic understanding of the fundamentals of what I'm learning, I literally start building something. It doesn't matter if I make mistakes, whatever. It's like brute force type of learning, you know? Of course, this is much slower than using AI, but in my opinion, it's the best way to actually learn. This might sound as a really obvious learning process to some people, but let me tell you something. The most of people that I know that study with me in university, they find it extremely hard to solve actual problems or build something from scratch using code, using programming without AI. And I guess the AI generated code is the source of all these problems to surprise to absolutely nobody. But you know, maybe someone here can relate to what I'm talking about in this video. Probably nowadays or in the future, it makes no sense to actually learn how to code. But sometime in a university now, you know, it will be a waste of my time to actually, you know, not to learn all of this stuff. Plus, you know, I'm already here, so yeah.
hopefully someone could relate with what I just said. If you did it, subscribe. But if you didn't and you think learning how to code without AI is a completely waste of time, subscribe. Subscribe anyways. Peace. Bye. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.